Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you the interface for Adobe Animate CC 2021. I just opened up the application and this is what you see. You can open up any recent files that you were working on. If you haven't done any anything, you won't get this. You can open up a new file fast. These are just templates. But what I wanted to show you is here, this is a home page for uh, when you start up the program. But if you click on the learn button, you get a bunch of tutorials on how to do stuff. And then you can go to adobe.com for more options. In fact, I'm just going to click on this and it'll open up that project file. And it's an interactive tutorial right on the application. It goes step to step and it gives you a tour. Uh, you can click this to, to play the animation. See, I just clicked it and it opened up a, a new window. Let me bring it over. Uh, in a Safari or Chrome, whichever you have open. And it's playing. Uh, and it goes and it goes uh, to the next button and you can see the layers. you can see a bunch of tutorials and it is very very cool skip tour and tutorial and then we're going to open up uh, we're going to open up another one let's go ahead and close this don't save and it brings you up to the startup window again. Let's go to the home button now where we see this. You can open up, like I said, recent documents or any documents that you have on your computer or you can create a new one. If you click on the button, it will give you more templates. Uh, social media templates, gaming templates, education, ads uh, for web uh, and advanced or, or you could just click on we're gonna click on this full HD 1920 by 1080 here it is 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second using action script 3 and this is the coding language that um, Adobe animate uses Adobe animate used to be called flash back in the day and this is what opens up uh, when we start up so um, to zoom out, I'm going to hold down the command key and uh, with the scroll wheel, I can zoom out and I am going to put my mouse right here in between the timeline and the vein stage and size it down just so that you can see the entire stage. By the way, this white area is your main stage. This is where all of the action is going to happen. Uh, the darker areas on the outside is what's called offstage or your pasteboard. If you have anything here, if you put something here that uh, if maybe a ball is going to come in through here and then go off screen, this won't render only the white area. This is your main stage. Uh, your tools, uh, selecting, transform, brushes, eraser, rectangle if you see a little triangle by this icon if you click and hold that means it's got more options you can click the oval tool for example this pen tool if you click and hold more options you got the paint uh, bucket tool the eyedropper uh, the hand tool will um, allow you to move your entire sta stage and then the zoom tool in and out uh, your colors down here is your layers. In fact, I'm going to put my cursor right between the two and then expand this window. Here are my layers. Uh, I can add a layer and I can delete a layer. I can also uh, group layers together by clicking this new folder and then put putting layers inside that folder. And I can drag layers uh, wherever I want or drag them out of that folder. This is a, just a way to keep organized. I can drag this outside the layer or delete even that whole folder. Delete. Yes. And so this is my timeline with my play control buttons here. Play button uh, and back one frame loop. Some of the onion skinning is right here. And then your uh, zoom in and out for your frame. 
on the right side here, we've got some windows, uh, the properties window. These properties apply to what you have selected. If you don't have anything selected, uh, it'll it'll apply to your document or to the stage. Right now, you can see that it's 19, 1920 by 1080. Uh, the stage is white, the background color, and as we have 24 frames per second. Uh, the library, since we don't have anything in the library yet, the library right now is empty. And your assets. These are assets provided to you by Adobe. You've got some assets, animated assets. Uh, you've got some static assets, uh, backgrounds, props, or all of them. Let's go to backgrounds. Uh, we've got also characters, some characters already provided to you. And some sound clips. You've got some sound clips uh, that you can use that you can use in your uh, animations. And these are other windows, other windows or palettes that you can use. For example, the color palette, here it is, uh, or the color window, which is also here, color. Uh, you've got your color swatches palette or window, um, your transform, align, info you got a motion presets your brush libraries are here layer depth and this is your frame picker i am going to uh, hold down the space bar for the hand tool and command scroll to zoom in and out and this button is very important under windows you can go to workspaces uh, and you can see that you have a lot of workspaces. What is a workspace? A workspace is how things are arranged on your interface. For example, I just clicked this animator workspace and you can see that now the timeline went up here. The tools were on the left, now they're here. Um, the properties remain on the right, right, but some of the other palettes and windows are on the left the align, the scene, motion presets, and color and swatches are now on the left. Um, let's go check out this basic one. This is what we're going to be using for the most part, which is almost the same as this essentials one. And we've got one, a classic one, with the layers and the timeline up above, the tools on the left. It's kind of exactly the same as the basic one, but the timeline and layers are on top. That's how it used to be when it was flash. Um, the designer one. So they're trying to give you all the tools necessary for you to do a specific task. Uh, for design, it might be a little bit different than the a developer one. So you might not never need this components um, window or the compiler error window. And so we're going to stick to either the basic one or the essentials one. Notice that with the essentials one, you get these extra palettes here. And with the basic one, you don't. And so we're gonna stick with this basic one. It gives you your tools on the left, your main stage right dead center, your timeline and layers at the bottom and your uh, properties, assets, properties, you got color, align, and library right here on the right. So guys, um, on the next video, we'll cr start creating, we'll start animating stuff in Adobe Animate. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, remember to go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.